Good evening, and thank you for joining us for our Taze evening prayer service. Our opening hymn is number 832 from Wonder, Love, and Praise, Veni Sancti Spiritu. Veni Sancti Spiritu. Veni Sancte Spiritus, Veni Sancte Spiritus, from heaven shine forth, with your glorious spiritus, Veni Sancte 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 Spiritus, Disperse the shadows over us, Veni Sancte Spiritus, Veni Sancte Spiritus, Veni Sancte Spiritus, Veni Sancte Spiritus, Veni Sancte Spiritus. Lighted peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we are walking in darkness, we lie and do not do what is true. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God, kindle within us the fire of love, that by its cleansing flame we may be purged of all our sins and made worthy to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our next hymn is number 827, O Lord, Hear My Prayer. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, 
and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our next hymn is Give to Us Your Peace. Dona nobis patrem Domine Dona nobis patrem Domine to us your peace, O Jesus Christ. Give to us your peace, O Jesus Christ. The appointed psalm for this evening is Psalm 36. We will read it together, verses 5 through 11. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. You save both man and beast, O Lord. How priceless is your love, O God. Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They feast upon the abundance of your house. You give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your favor to those who are true of heart. Let not the foot of the proud come near me, nor the hand of the wicked push me aside. The word of the Lord. Isaiah 42, verses 1 through 9. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth, and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare before they spring forth I tell you of them. The word of the Lord. A reading from John 12. 
Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. Holy Wisdom, Holy Word. Our next hymn is 825 from Wonder Love and Praise. Bless the Lord, my soul. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who would hand him over, said, Why was this oil not sold for 300 denarii, 300 days' wages, and given to the poor? It's quite a skill. It takes a long time to perfect. The ability to make the most selfish and self-serving scheme sound like an act of magnanimous generosity. Knowing how to spin any situation so you come off as the hero or victim, whichever is preferred at the moment. Justifying your behavior in your own mind so that you're at peace with what you did or didn't do. That's the genius of Judas Iscariot. Judas knows how to cover up his thievery with words of humble piety. He pleads for the poor while lining his own pocket. He seeks to raise his own standing with Jesus by humiliating Mary. Many people bought Judas' act. They believed him, but not Jesus. Our own Judas side comes out when we try to justify our own selfishness at the cost of doing business. Or justify, oh, it's okay because everybody does it. We attempt to override our guilt or not respond to the plight of those who are in need or those in trouble by dismissing them as lazy or irresponsible. 
We rationalize our inactivity, doing nothing to help someone who's in crisis with a well-rehearsed litany of our own problems. How very Judas of us. Holy Week confronts us with our Judas ability to justify what we know is unjust. To explain away those times that we don't follow Jesus. To rationalize in our own mind why we should not take up our cross with Jesus. May we come to this Holy Week with a contrite heart, open to realizing our own Judas-like ability to explain away the demands of following Jesus. Holy Father, in his selfless and humble emptying, your Son transformed our lives from despair to hope, from pain to wholeness, from sadness to joy, from death to life. May we empty ourselves of selfishness and artifice to become vessels of your grace and forgiveness. May we break open our jars of compassion and generosity to fill our homes and communities with your peace and healing. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our next hymn is Come and Fill. Almighty, everlasting Lord, let our prayer in your sight be as incense, the lifting up of our hands as the evening sacrifice. Give us grace to behold you, present in your word and sacraments, and to recognize you in the lives of those around us. Stir up in us the flame of that love which burned in the heart of your Son as he bore his passion. And let it burn in us to eternal life and to the age of ages. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. 
Amen. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Our closing hymn is number 831 from Wonder, Love, and Praise. Ubi Caritas. to Jay, to Charlotte, to Wilson, and to Leon. Thank you for joining us this evening. Please come back on Wednesday at 6 p.m., Thursday at 6 p.m., Friday at noon, and for our Sunday service. Blessings and peace be with you. <laughs>